cute bedroom in here. Hello. Hello. We go down the hallway. This is our Airbnb. Main bedroom in here. This is what I like. Look at this beautiful swing in here. Although, it's a TV. And then of course the main bed. They left a note on the swing. So, I was hoping to swing on it, but apparently you can't. That's okay. And then we go into the closet, the main bathroom, beautiful shower. And then there's a tub there as well. Hi. And then over here, you come out into the kitchen. Oh, hello again. <laughs> we saw some cats hanging out out here. Oh, they finally moved. But this is the kitchen, very pretty kitchen. Coming back down the hallway, there is living space, a couch. And then here, there's like a really bright lit room for like a study or to do like your work and stuff, which is really cool. I like this desk. And then you can see out. That is the Airbnb door. We just finished breakfast and they have an Ikea here, which we never get a chance to go to Ikea. So when the opportunity is there, we are going to go. So we're going to go see, look around and maybe get something. Oh, uh, yeah. It's kind of windy. I can't hear you. Yeah, it's really bright and windy. It's really cold in Tampa. So it's we're really, not used to this. It's a really good day out though. Yeah, it's amazing. I hope, somebody, I hope someone likes my shirt. I like your shirt. Thank you. <laughs> so we're going to go and explore Ikea. Fake, of course. I love this with the microwave and the oven. And then you have like this electric cooktop. So pretty. With all the wood stuff. Sorry? Induction. Oh, induction. So is this. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like this one. I do too. It's very um industrial, but. With all the wood, it makes it look warm. Very nice. Stable. This is cute. I love jars like this. Oh, this is concrete? Yes, this is Oh, it's nice and cool. That's only 51 bucks. Like, are you serious? This is nice. Oh, look, there's more of those jars. And like a secret compartment over here. Cute. Can someone explain the dinosaurs to me? There's like dinosaurs everywhere. This is a nice green room that we found, even though it doesn't look green in the camera. It is actually green. Like the pillow is green and everything. Just like a big green room. Okay, this is really cool. I did not expect this. You open it up and bam, lights. Recess lighting right up in there. And it's a beautiful closet with like pull-out drawers, which I find really fun. I love how they stage the shoes and stuff, although I don't, I don't, I don't, that's not cool. You don't put your underwear with your, with your shoes, like ew, but it's just so nice. And then you close it and then the light turns off. By the way, like pretty reasonably priced, really. 
How would you love to just sit back and read a book in that? Footstool. Yeah, go ahead and try it out. How comfy is it? This position. Verdict? Good? Cool. Check this out. What an amazing table. It's like, it's got so many hidden gems in it. Oh, and it's soft close. Nice. All right, this is new. Um, talk about horror film. Anthony. <laughs> so creepy down here. They're creating new sections, I guess. These are so cool. Like the hexagons on them. It's like this massive cabinetry thing that you can do. This is like leather. And it has like that recess lighting again. But very nice. It's called this. Anyone can pronounce that. <laughs> but there we go. Here's my favorite section on the bookshelves where you can have all your books. I love these like skinny ones right here. This is nice. I really do like the white. I really love this one. I really love this. This is so pretty. This is a nice cabinet, really. You could put recess lighting in, I guess, if you wanted to. You were curious about Alex George. Very nice. Very aesthetic here. This is so satisfying. This is electric. So you just, I don't know if you can hear that, but it, it's raising it. So you can have a standing desk or you can push this down and it goes down and you can have a sitting desk and do all your work. It's so satisfying. Look at these adorable nested tables. It's like a gradation, but this one's a tray, like an actual in recess tray. And you can just push it back in and nest them in if you don't have a lot of space. Like this is like for small space living. What are you messing with? A lamp? Are you trying to figure out how it works? Is there a switch somewhere? Oh, I have no idea. Okay, <laughs> by the way, we keep seeing this chair and this amazing chair. Just take that pillow away for a second. These amazing chairs, I love them. Much aesthetic. <laughs> have you ever seen such an immaculate, ornate, but simple designed kitchen? Like, wow. <laughs> these are amazing. I love the color. And again, with these dinosaurs, hello. This range is quite interesting. Gas stove. The spices up there. This massive sink. What are you messing with? This is like, this is It's a, a catch-all for all the stuff that you don't want to put down the drain. It's magnetic, and look. It ties everything. Like, it looks so safe when you have it. So, do you want to get one? No, we need one of these. Okay. Let's find it then. We'll find it. This is so clean. Look at this spout, by the way. Like, wow. That's amazing. Just it's everything in here is immaculate. Like, the bowls, the trays. Go ahead, take a picture. This is amazing. So pretty. We have made it to the cabinetry section where you can choose whatever finish you want. I really like this one, but I also like the wood and the white. Anthony loves this, which I can't blame him because it looks gorgeous, this dark green. I think it's really cool. Hmm. Sections of concrete countertop, and then where you do your like cooking and chopping, where there's a separation. Not only is it designed to look like it's part of it, but you probably can't hear me. That would be cool. No, it would be cool. Like if you had like this green with like a light gray concrete countertop. And then where you cook. Or you could do like the light green and then. Or I guess that's where you would have the That color there. That with the light green maybe. 
I don't know. We're, we're working it out. This is my dream section. Just all the glass options you could ever, ever want or dream of. We're looking for stemless wine glasses. Something like this, but probably a bit smoother. But that's ideal. Okay, we're just about to exit, but look how cute! They're like little gnomes or something. They're adorable! I kind of want these all over my Christmas tree, it's but... A it is a soft looking blanket. And there's this chair again. Oh, it's the same cool. chair. Oh yeah, we got a lot of things. Guilty. Yeah. Oh god. Look at all the Christmas behind you. Yeah, we kind of did some damage. But look at all the Christmas. So good. Yeah, we did some, we got, we got some things. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna hide that back. So, we're gonna check out now. Hey guys, we got, we got a puppy. His name is Sven. Since, you know, everything is Swedish today, why not? <laughs> So he's gonna sit with me, and Anthony's trying a new drink. This is a product of Germany. This isn't Swedish. It says Swedish on the bottle. I mean, the they're... Swedish style. Sorry. <laughs> Swedish style. What is it it's though? It's good. It's um, it's like a Dr Pepper, but it's not. It has this sweet kind of like sugary taste. It has a hop flavor in there, which I do taste. It's not carbonated like... malt and hops. Has anyone ever tried this? Yes, yeah, it's really good actually. It's good. It's like if cream soda and beer came together. But non-alcoholic. It would sound. It would taste way better if it was alcoholic. Oh, okay. Would and I got this pear cider. I don't know why this is not a thing in America, but this is amazing. Like I don't even know how to describe this to you. It's just like take apple cider and minus all the tart sweetness, like the tart, the tartness away from apple cider. Minus that, and you have pear cider. It is so good. It's not overly sweet. It's not tart at all. It's just good. So together, it's like Christmas in here. <laughs> Can't spend with me. We're gonna go up to Orlando to go visit his brother before we go back down, and we gotta get lunch. So we're gonna go and get, grab some lunch as well, and then eventually head all the way back home. So. What time is it now? 1.30? It's 2.20. It's 2.20. So we're probably going to be traveling all day into the evening. Uh, but we want to go and stop in Orlando to say hi to his brother. So that's what we're going to do. Here we go. Bye.